Hey there YouTube, it's Matt Bowler and welcome to my 2020 top 10 in-person autograph signings list. <laughs> I don't know if I want to call it a recap, but I made a 2020 private signings top 10. I'm now making also a 2020 in-person autographs. I'm not, you know, in-person autograph signings top 10. I'm not sure if I want to try to go through all the TTM autographs that I received and make a top 10, but maybe I will. I mean, I have a lot of great, cool people who subscribe to this channel who I know would appreciate it. So in any case, here's my top 10 in-person autograph signings. Most of them came from Pirates Fest, which was January 24th and 25th, but I did have some other items, and I actually have two honorable mentions that did not crack the top 10. This is the first one. It was Arthur Motes having a book signing at Wahlburgers on March 6th, 2020. This would have been the Friday right before everything really kind of went to crap with the health situation. Not only did 20 bucks, no, it was 25 bucks, got me an autograph book, got to meet him. He signed a couple trading cards, but also included as much of this little burger and tater tot bar at Wahlburgers, a food I can eat. I had, I believe I had, I think it was 12 mini burgers and six little cups of tater tots. And he was so friendly, so nice. Arthur Motes, really good guy, really good, nice guy. With the inscription, keep being great and impactful. Awesome. Awesome stuff, Mr. Motes. That's honorable mention number two. And honorable mention number one goes to this Phil Bork autographed mini or bobblehead. It's actually my first hockey autographed bobblehead. I was going to have a, quite a few more at the, uh, well, a show that got canceled. Anyway, this was signed on January 13th, 2020. What made this really cool was I met someone down there who was also, you know, told me about Phil Bork being there, and we ended up winning tickets the following day's Penguin game for free. <laughs> and it was in the lower bowl, not the upper bowl of PPB Jane's or Paints Arena and that was really cool. So I got free tickets out of it. All right, time to crack the top 10 everybody. Here we go, number 10. I guess it's really just a top 12, but top 10. <laughs> we got Brian Reynolds signed on January 25th at Pirates Fest. This is an authenticated game ball. My favorite things to collect though I have too many. <laughs> this is authenticated as a double off Rockies, Antonio Sensatella. This was at Coors Field. He had a double, and uh, I want to get signed by Brian Reynolds. Yeah, from his rookie year, which was a great year, 2020. We're not talking about that, but that's his short, free autograph. It's pretty crappy, but that's what it is, and I got it. Next up, number nine was same day, January 25th, 2020, at Pirates Fest. We have a dual sign bobblehead. I got Kevin Kramer first and then Kevin Newman second. This is an Altoona Curve themed bobblehead. And there's the autographs right there. We got Kevin, Kram Kevin New Kramer and then Kevin Newman. They were both in the same autograph session, so that worked out super well. Only had to take it out of that box one time for it. Came out pretty darn nice. And both of them got a little kick out of signing it. So, very good. Number eight was signed also on January 25th at Pirates Fest. This is an MLB authenticated game ball of Cole Tucker with the Thanks Steven inscription. I know that's my first name, but he's not talking about me. You see, this MLB authenticated game ball. By the way, Cole Tucker, super, super nice guy. Very friendly to fans. Very cool about autographs. Anyway, um... This game ball is on a thank you. Three pitches to Cole Tucker. Ball, ball, ball. Which actually was ball two, ball three, ball four. So he walked Tucker. The following pitch, authenticated. So Stephen Brault hits into a double play. Third to first. Third to second to first. Round the horn. Jed Jerko, Colton Wong, Paul Goldschmidt. So Cole Tucker got on base. Next pitch, Stephen Brault gets both of them out. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> That's so funny. I would love to get Stephen Brault to sign this with the inscription, sorry Cole, but whether that happens or not, I don't know. Both guys are super cool, super funny, super friendly guys. Stephen Brault is hilarious, by the way. Um, anyway, 
That is number eight with that hilarious inscription. <laughs> really? All right, I'm going to swing around here to number seven. This Greg Brown autographed 8x10 photo. I really, really like Greg Brown. He's an amazing, amazing person to listen to. His energy, his enthusiasm is authentic and enjoyable. This is a beautiful 8x10 photo that I purchased at the 2000, uh, yeah, 2016 at the National when it was in Atlantic City. Silver paint pen with the Raise the Jolly Roger inscription. I wish I had a hundred of these photos. I wish I had a hundred of these. I'd get them signed by every person I could ever think of who ever played at PNC Park. That's how beautiful this photo is. But that's not realistic. So let's get someone to sign it who doesn't really have trading cards or anything and get it signed by somebody outstanding. And that is one right there. Okay. There, that's a... Borderline man crush there. <laughs> and my buddy who was with him doesn't, when I got signed at Pirates Fest on January 25th, doesn't like Greg Brown's enthusiasm. What? No. All right, number six on the list. We got Andy Russell. <coughs> I met him at an in-person autograph signing at Total Sports Enterprises, TSC, on February 29th, Leap Day. Sign this football. Bought two inscriptions. I think one was included, actually. I can't remember now. Team captain for 10 years, seven Pro Bowls. Outstanding, outstanding resume. He was really nice, of course. Next up, we got Josh Bell. I'm trying to hide the signature in the shade here. There's actually sunlight going on right now, which is kind of rare in December. But here we have a Josh Bell not MLB Authenticated Game Ball. This is a foul ball that I acquired with a cool story. That's why it's at number five. This was signed at Pirates Fest, January 25th. This was pitched by the Marlins. Oh, I forgive me if I butcher the first name. Elisair Hernandez to Josh Bell, who fouled it to the first base and Neil Walker. And Neil Walker fired that ball to me real playfully. I put my hand up, my glove up. Neil Walker, may I have the ball? Boom, bam, it was in my glove before I knew it. He fired that stinking thing. I was a big old cheesy smile on his face. It was hilarious. I wish I would have sent this off to the Neil Walker private signing, but I chose the other three game balls that I had. You know, at some point you just got to, you know, cap yourself off. And I capped off at three items. This would have been the fourth item. But you know what? I'm happy Josh Bell signed. He put down a good autograph. That's not his full signature, but that's really darn close to it. He has two shorter signatures. Like, out of the four signatures, this would be the second best. <laughs> anyway, and that was from September 19th, September 5th, 2019 from that game. So that was a foul ball that I got. And after Neil Walker fired it into my glove, no little kids around asking for it. Oh, that was so cool. I know that sounds mean, but hey, I'm glad I didn't have to give that ball away. <laughs> Oh, I gotta stop talking. I sound like a jerk. Alrighty. Next up, we got Colin Moran and Josh Bell. See, that's a little bit of a shorter version of the Josh Bell signature. Not quite when he signs just JB, but rather close. So this baseball is authenticated. Oh, son of a gun, I got him switched around. I got him... Switched around. That is not number four. That's number three. Number four. Wait a sec. I may have been lost my mind here. Yes, that is. I am crazy. That is actually number three. Let's go to number four. I'll come back to that. This one is MLB authenticated. Tons of dirt on it. This is signed, already signed by Chris Stewart, who I sent TTM in 2019, but then at Pirates Fest on January 24th, I got both. Adam Frazier and Jamison Tyon to sign it. It's a completed ball. This was pitched on July 20th, 2017 by the Brewers' Jimmy Nelson. It was first an RBI single from Chris Stewart scoring Adam Frazier. The very next pitch, foul ball by Jamison Tyon. So it's a Jamison Tyon foul ball, a Chris Stewart RBI single, scoring on Frazier, completed ball. Great. You'd think that would have been ahead of this one, but it's not. Here's why. This is the other foul ball that I personally obtained during the 2019 season. It's a ground out. 
Um, it was from September 7th, 2019, two days after the other ball. Um, this was signed by Colin Moran and then Josh Bell on January 25th. This is not a authenticated game ball. It's not an MLB authenticated game ball. This was pitched by Adam Wainwright. He walked Josh Bell and then Colin Moran right away hit into a ground, bow, ground out. That's why both those guys signed it. It was hit to first baseman Paul Goldschmidt, so he just handled the ball cleanly and then got the ground out to end the inning, and he flipped the ball to me. Paul Goldschmidt flipped me that baseball. Dang, that's cool. That's why that's number three, not number four. That's why I actually I got those switched up and why I could not justify leaving it that way. Okay, number two is currently wrapped up. In this big package. I'm not opening that back up just for the sake of a video here. Instead, I'll show it here. It's a paper towel dispenser. <laughs> I got Jeff Reed in-person autograph signing on September 19th, 2020. He signed this paper towel. It's a, a this paper towel dispenser with the Super Bowl 40 and Super Bowl 43 champs inscription. Those of you who may not know, Jeff Reed, uh, in a drunken state in a sheets bathroom, demolished a paper towel dispenser, got in some trouble, obviously, and um, was totally cool about signing a paper towel dispenser. That is going to my brother. I am shooting this video on December 23rd, so my brother's going to get this very, very soon. Uh, this will not be uploaded until after, you know, January, after New Year starts, but um, yeah, that's number two. That was so cool. I know my brother is going to love this. And I got a roll of paper towels that fit for this. I'll go in there, too, for him. He will display this in his man cave, no doubt about it. He'll, he'll mount it with some of the screws and brackets and whatnot that came with it. and Good stuff. Lastly, I'm talking way too much. Number one autograph. I'm going to run out with my cameras. My camera's going to cut out if I don't stop after about 12 and a half minutes. We got a game ball signed by, well, it was already signed by Brian Reynolds back in 2019. But at Pirates Fest on January 25th, I also got Colin Moran again and Josh Bell again. At least Colin Moran put his jersey number on here. I got to talk quick. I got to talk quick. Ah, this was five MLB authenticated as... And it'll be authenticated as five pitches to Josh Bell from the Dodgers. Caleb Ferguson called strike. Ball, 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 ball. Walk. Then one pitch to Brian Reynolds. It was a single on a ground ball to right fielder Colin Bellinger. And then one pitch to Colin Moran, who had a single and a fly ball to left fielder Jock Peterson. Completed ball. Beautiful. Got to go. Got to cut the video. 